Welcome to Once Upon a Time in Shreveport and the Schaefer Small Engine Shop and Two Car Garage. Today's subject is this Ryobi BP42 backpack blower that won't run. It will start, but it won't run. And I'll bring you in a little bit closer and we'll take a look at it and I'll show you what the problem is. Or what I think the problem is. These Ryobi blowers are a different design than anybody else in the marketplace uses. They use a horizontal cylinder, vertical shaft, and the crankshaft connects directly to the blower here, which is also mounted horizontally. So it spins and blows straight out. Everybody else in the industry mounts their engine with the cylinder vertical, the crankshaft horizontal, and the blower running up and down vertically and scoots around and goes out the, uh, the blower tube. But Ryobi has done it a little bit different and uh, it works okay. I'm not wild about the engine being in a horizontal position. I, I, I feel like that may contribute more to wear since the piston is laying in the cylinder uh, on its side. Might contribute more than if the piston was straight up and down vertical and centered in the uh, the bore with the piston rings. But this is what Ryobi does, so different strokes for different folks. Now, I'm gonna put this up on the bench where we can take a look at it and I'll explain what all this spaghetti is that's hanging out from it. Okay, I hope we pick all this up. This unit, when it was assembled, would start fairly easily. It would not rev up at all. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Like it's not getting enough gas. So I fooled with the low jet and I fooled with the high jet and I just never could make any uh, improvement to the acceleration but i did notice when i was fooling with it uh, and this when this primer was attached that there were lots of air bubbles always in the line the suction line coming out of the carburetor and that's what these purge bulbs do they suck fuel completely through the carburetor in one uh, port and out another port and then what's left goes through a line dumps back into the tank and the purge bulb is supposed to clear out all the air that's in the carburetor but this line I, I, I never could get all the bubbles out of it. So I'm gonna pump it here, and we'll see if we can pick up all the bubbles that are in this thing. Full of air. Full of air down here. Coming straight out of the carburetor, full of air. And I've changed out 
the lines and then I rigged up all of this spaghetti here so I could see what was going on and I could never get the air to clear up in it. So my only guess was that one of the uh, little valves in the carburetor is not working properly. Now I went in the carb and changed out the diaphragms and cleaned it all out inside, but I just never could get rid of all the bubbles. So these little check valves, when they go bad, there's nothing you can do with them. You can't replace them. You just buy a new carburetor. So I have taken that step and bought a brand new carburetor off of my favorite shopping place, eBay. And I'm gonna turn you off and put this new carburetor on and we'll see if this thing will run right. So I'll be back. All right, I've got the new carburetor on. I've left all of the external spaghetti in place so I can see what's going on. And let me get you in close and we'll purge it and see if the bubbles disappear. Okay, we've still got some bubbles in the line here. And let's start purging. It's gonna take a minute, there we go. To get the new carburetor clear and I can tell you it's got plenty of bubbles in it but now they're getting out an occasional bubble that nothing like was in it before So, let's give it a tug and see what it does. Okay, I've got it down on the work bait where it's a little bit easier to film and easier to get to. We're gonna put the choke on. Contact. Choke half off. I believe she needs a little bit of adjusting here. Let me fool with it for a minute and I'll turn you back on it. All right, we've tinkered a little bit here and this unit was starving for fuel. Now I've opened all of the jets, the low jet, several turns and it seems to be doing okay. Now, I'm going to put in the air filter, which could make some difference. We'll find out. And it likes to start on choke, which would indicate it's starving for fuel. Well, let's see what it does now. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. 
still need a little tweaking, but progress has been made. Based upon my initial roaring success, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back together like it's supposed to be. So I've removed all the long spaghetti and replaced it with shorter spaghetti and hooked it up to the purge bowl that is built into the air cleaner housing. And as you can see, I've pumped it a few times and it purged just fine. So now we've got a few things to put back together. This is some type of air dam that goes in here and blocks this thing off. And one thing I did not mention is when I was fooling with this thing with the old carburetor, it seemed to push as much air out as it sucked air in. Of course, the air coming out is all mixed with gasoline. And I, I mean, it was uh, uh, a dead gum hurricane coming out of this thing. Never seen that before in any two cycle that I've ever worked on. But that may be something that this air dam might block some of that off so it gets sucked back in. I'm not exactly sure what the the details are. All I know is it was blowing as much air out as it was sucking in. So I'm going to finish putting her together here and I'll be back with you. Alright, the air dam's back in place. Got a brand spanking new filter here. And I'm going to put this outer housing on and it should be complete. Alright. The beast is fully assembled, and I can tell you two things about these things. Number one, at least this one, appears to be a gas hog. And number two, every one of these things that I've ever worked on loses nuts and bolts. They're always, whenever they come to me, they're missing one or more screws, bolts, nuts, Whatever. That's half a time. I'll be enough to do anything that I have in mind, which is to give this thing a field test. I'll be right back. Let me set it up. down to a nice idle all by itself I'm gonna call this a success thanks for watching 
Hope this helps somebody.